going on, everybody? I'm back in IRC running the Ferrari uh, for the GT3 Daytona test thing. I ended up just actually running it, doing it, but it, uh, I forgot to hit record, so that sucks. But we're into it, uh, running the Ferrari, which this is, I think, the car that we're going to run for Daytona. The or WTF racing is going to run for Daytona. I think it's the most stable, um, most stable, but it definitely isn't the most, it doesn't turn like slower speeds, it, it does not feel like it turns the best, um, top speed, it, it's not even in the top three, um, which, yeah, but, I mean, trying to get into it, when you're on brakes over half brake like it, even with ABS on you'll lock them up so easily and it just it'll go straight then um, you'll see the dashes or the lights on the dash like see it's just it's not turning not turning not turning until exit you have to slow it down so much more than kind of all the other cars um, which is weird because it's the same layout as the Lamborghini and Audi but they turn so much better and the front engine cars it just it puts weight on the front end so it does I did, I see a few of the lights lit up on the dash because the brakes, I was locking them up just a little bit, even with ABS, and then it turned, which, yes, but I ran a 44, 6, I kind of doubt I will this lap, but um, straightaway speed, it definitely feels like it's lacking, which I figured it was going to be one of the faster ones, it isn't, um, which is weird and strange because I thought that this was always one of the faster ones, but I just, I don't think it is. Um, biggest flaw with it is you have to slow it down so much for it to rotate uh, in the chicane and S's and stuff. Kind of everywhere. I think these like third gear, fourth gear corners on most of these tracks, it, it struggles in. Um, yeah, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't have the initial turn as say the Audi or the uh, even the Mercedes uh, but it I mean that's two laps and I still could only run a eight but if we do the acceleration test we don't even hit a hundred till the black lines um, 150, still going, still going, second line, and we barely hit it, as slow as the BMW, even a little bit slower, um, let's see what we hit down the straightaway, and we get up to speed, we only break at 172, so, and then still, it's not turning, not turning, not turning, it has slowed down so much more, um, compared to every other car, um, which straightaway speed overall straightaway speed doesn't really go as much as you think but like if I go in the corner and do full brake if I even go like 80% brake watch what if I drive it in hard you're not able to drive it in hard because it just pushes well, that wasn't too bad but see I missed the corner and it's hard to get around it this is was a perfect example I had before where I got hard on the brakes and it goes straight well I went off track when I did that the first time but it it, it locks up and you could feel the initial turn like when you do finally hit the brakes and then want to turn it feels like you're locking them up like when you don't like you drive a car without ABS it kind of flat spots it and then it doesn't have that initial turn like this and then you after the corner pretty much it get rid of the flat spot and then you're able to turn it just feels like it's too late but accelerating second gear pull it just it doesn't feel too good it best thing it has is uh, stability which is good it just it doesn't it just it pushes which makes it I think the easiest one to drive it just kind of pushes other than that it's really easy to 
make a mistake and kind of drive it in pretty hard, like if you just kind of throw it in. It's easy to kind of go through the corner. It's, it's the easiest one to drive. It's just super slow compared to it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my opinion on the Ferrari. One is the track control. I don't want to do a few burnouts. It's got a V8 in it, so it sounds okay. It just kind of meh, the interior. Kind of meh. Really not too much. It does good 360s, though. Come on. I actually will show uh, the point of accelerating. Let's see, right here. Where's the braking test? Let's see. I do do the braking test in this first bit, or no, I did it right here. Okay. So, and I even started a little bit further out, or. Yeah, so, but, I mean, I also had anti stall on, so it was a better launch. But, I mean, we still go way further on 100. I mean, we we only hit it here, and the rear bumper's already passed it. So, I mean, it just, it's so much slower. I was maybe a few inches in front when I first took off compared to where it normally is. And that was many, many feet past the black line. So there's that part. Um, this 150 test, we're at it. We're at 150 past the second one, the Lamborghini, Audi. The Mercedes was close to around here. BMW was around here. Which I think the BMW turning wise and the ability is on the same level as, or the turning is better in the BMW than this. Um, and stability, it's up there. It's one of the, it's probably the second easiest to drive. Um, Clayton likes the poor, so I'm gonna run that next. It's a try. He seems to really like it. It does seem to be pretty stable. It's just one of the harder ones to get the lap time out of. But once you do, it is fast, but it's still pretty stable. So. That's one thing, but straightaway speed, it doesn't, it, it's not fast. It, it's, I mean, what was it, my, that lap? Only 173. I mean, my first lap at the line. Let's see. Oh, wrong button. Only hit 172 there. At, like, the last lap, or that fast lap. 172, so definitely feels like it's it's hard on the brakes and it's hard it's tight but and it's it's hard to get under brakes and stuff but it definitely does uh feel more it's more stable and stuff it doesn't spin out on entry but it still spins it just it shoves a lot it's harder to it's hard to be fast in it So, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.